Look how big they've gotten. This brooder plate is still out there and that seems to be where they're sleeping. Though I think a couple of them have found the little roosting bars up here. And these are nest boxes. Mike said he found one or two in there, so. They can do it, they just haven't figured out their chickens yet, and they should do it, I guess. Look at you. <laughs> it's green. I'm already covered in chicken manure. <laughs> and no, this won't be the uh, forever chicken run. This is just what? Here. Who's going like what? Here. Most is going. No, it's not. It's straight. Come on out, guys. There's a whole world to explore. Or at least a little tiny temporary run. So we pulled the cattle wire out of the ditch. Pulled some T-posts up from the back horse pastures. And made a very temporary little run for them while we finish. We need to focus on getting a moose fence up so we can plant some trees. And then we'll get back to making a permanent chicken run. Maybe we'll put a garden fence up first. We'll see how long they last out here. They don't seem to like the ladder yet. It's Oh, oh, look at this. They kept slipping. Oh, there she did it. Now what are you going to do? Novia flew off my shoulder right into the coop, so I know they could fly if they need to. Just don't seem to know what to do with the little steps on the ramp. They're pretty curious about the door. Hey, Benny! Oh! <laughs> it's Ariel's birthday. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you just throw him out the... <laughs> That man, he just keeps pushing them. <laughs> well, we got six of them out here. The other 12 are just kind of hunkered inside. The black, no, we've got the Cochin, the Silky, and four of the reds. So we need to see about a dust. 